Welcome to the School of Mathematics and Statistics at the University of New South Wales. My name is Peter Brown. I am the Director of First Year Mathematics. I want to talk to you very briefly about um, our main standard first year mathematics subjects and what the assumed knowledge for these courses is. Our main subject is Mathematics 1131, Mathematics 1A. This is our standard first year course mainly designed for engineering students, students doing mathematics, physics and physical sciences. It has two components, there's an algebra component and a calculus component to this course. The assumed knowledge for the course is New South Wales Mathematics Extension 1 with a mark of at least 100. That's 100 out of 150. If you've done Extension 2 then that'll be fine as well. If you've done two unit mathematics you can still take Maths 1131. Hopefully uh, some of you will have taken our bridging course which will help you greatly in uh, doing this course. But if you've done two unit mathematics and scored a mark roughly say 90 or better out of 100, then you can still manage 1131 but you will have to work very hard at that course. In fact, you'll have to teach yourself in the first couple of weeks a number of the Extension 1 topics. We'll provide notes and information and exercises about that online. And you'll need to sit for an assumed knowledge quiz in the first couple of weeks. If you're really um, interested in mathematics and you're very good at it and you've done New South Wales Extension 2 and scored a mark, say, bigger than 176, or perhaps you've done Extension 1 and you've scored bigger than, say, 145, then you might think about enrolling in higher mathematics. Now, please note that you don't need to do higher mathematics in order to satisfy the requirements of any of your programs. All of these programs will say either Maths 1131 or Maths 1141. So you should only be enrolling in the higher course if A, you've satisfied the requirements of the assumed knowledge, and secondly, if you're really interested in mathematics and you've done high levels of it at school and you're really very keen on the subject. If you uh, come into higher maths without the proper background, or without the real committed interest, you will find this course extremely difficult. And you may need to drop down after a couple of weeks. You can always drop back from higher to our standard mathematics course, but that may cause you some problems in terms of timetabling and finding appropriate tutorial times. So be aware of that before the term begins. If you're coming in without the proper assumed knowledge, that is you may have done two unit maths at school but not done particularly well at it, or you're not feeling very comfortable with taking our Maths 1A course, then there is an alternative pathway that you should consider. We have another course called Fundamentals of Mathematics, Maths 1011, that's available, in fact, in both semesters. If you're not quite ready to take Maths 1A, but your program requires you to take Maths 1A, then an alternate pathway is to take the Fundamentals of Maths in the first semester, do well at that, learn some maths, gain some confidence, and then take Maths 1131, this is the standard course, to take that in the second semester. And you can then finish off by taking Maths 1B, Maths 1231, over the summer semester. And that way, at the end of the year, you start your second year just the same as everybody else. But you've had a slightly smoother uh, run in to getting through all of your mathematics. If you're not clear on what um, maths course to take, please come and, do, uh, and get advice from the School of Mathematics or from myself. And please do that, uh, if possible, before term begins so that you get yourself enrolled in the correct course. I hope you enjoy your first semester with us. Thank you very much.